Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week so far. Happy Friday. And we got attacked by a snapping turtle story time. And also, for anyone that likes bowling, right? I just had my first ever 200 ever in my life earlier, right? Like an hour and a half ago, two hours ago. I've gone bowling quite a good amount of my life, right? Never gotten close to 200. I got like a 180 once, right? I was so happy about that. I'm bowling tonight. I wasn't even paying attention to the score. I look up when I finish 202. That's beautiful. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Anyways, let's get to the story. So this is one of those events where, um, where it's like a team, right? So my baseball team, I'm assuming it was baseball because I don't think I was ever that close with like an entire football team. So I'm going to say baseball team, right? Me and my team, we always did something at the end of the year, whether it was like like all of us just eating at a restaurant together or we'd go to like someone's house and go swimming or that was pretty much it. We'd have like a little team party, right? And we did it from little league and growing up. I feel like almost every year of sports, we had some team party or some get together or something, right? Well, this year, since our team was like closer than usual. We'd all been on the same team the past like two, three years. And it wasn't like a travel team or fancy team or anything like that. It was like open to the public. It's just, we got lucky and kept getting the same kids on the team, right? So what happens? We decide to go to the lake or the parents decided that we should all go to the lake, right? And they rented all these tubes. They rented like this big hot dog tube that everybody could sit on. And they rented one where you could sit with each other. And there was places you could go swimming, restaurants and stuff. The only thing they warned us about was if you see a snapping turtle, let us know or stay away from it, right? And they said that, you know, they'd been seen there, but not in a long time. I don't know if that was a lie to just you know, keep us chill, like to not be worried about it, or if that was the actual case, but they said that was the only danger about the water, and most likely there'd be none around, or I can't remember if it was that there was, that there wasn't a lot in there, or that like they hadn't been seen in a long time, but I don't know if that was a lie or not, they just told us that, right? So we're there, also I wasn't the one that got attacked, but you'll see what happened. So we're there, and for the first like two hours it was the greatest time of our lives right it, especially for me and my friend because we'd been to this exact lake before and tubing on it so we knew like what to do we were having a great time we were barely falling off we were getting whipped around with everybody and the big hot dog it's way harder to hold on when there's like eight of you on that thing and you know with the weight distribution and trying to hold on and if somebody else falls they're gonna bump into you it was fun right and there's also hot dogs food everything you could think of right just a normal like team party so let me get to the incident. Um, I remember this clear as day. I remember right before this, we got onto the boat, right? Or we got onto a boat and we had to take turns because we didn't have like that big of a team, but we had like 12, 13 people plus our parents were there. So not everybody's gonna fit on the boat. We had to take turns. So some people were back on the beach swimming. Some people were like with whoever was grilling, making hot dogs or burgers and stuff. And then some kids would be on the boat and you'd switch off, right? I remember this clear as day. We had just gotten done with one of our turns of tubing, right? So we get on the boat and we're heading back to switch for a new group, right? And as we're getting into the boat, like everyone's chill, everyone's good, no injuries. And I remember them asking that afterwards, like, does everybody feel okay? No one's dizzy, no one's leg or arm hurts or anything, all good, right? We get in, we go to the boat, right? And the dock was right by the swimming area. Just we swam on the left side and you parked the boat to the right side. So as we're parking, we're getting out, right? And I had, I remember some adult, some mom was helping us get off the boat. That's when it happened, right? As I'm pulling her hands, or maybe not as I was pulling her hands, but as I was getting on the dock, like before I could even think to like turn around and help the next person or to even like realize what was going on, I just step onto the dock and you just hear a kid scream, basically bloody murder, just like, ah! right but it was higher pitch than that i can't do it anymore i used to be able to but think about like the girly scream the one that hurts your ears the ones that like make that people can break glasses with like that high pitch scream that's what he did right he was like ah right and it was it didn't last very long it was just like a scream right and then it was like a cry and he ran to his mom and he was like help help right and he runs and his mom like shielded him right like what's going on what's going on and she leaned over and we couldn't see what was going on right but he turned around and he started taking off his bathing suit and as you know like 
I don't know how old we were. Like, well, I do know. We were like 13, 14, 15, all of us together, right? I think it was a two-year or three-year age. It was like middle school, basically, the team ages, right? So we were like 13, 14, 15. Out of respect, obviously, if your teammate's screaming and, like, is pulling down his pants, you're not going to look, you know? So we look away, and his mom's, like, dealing with it. So we didn't know what would happen, like, what happened, right? And no one even said for a little bit that it was a snapping turtle. Like, we had no idea what he was screaming about, right? And then one of the kids brought it up. I can't remember the kid's name. Um, or yeah, no, no, I have no idea. It might've been like Ian. It started with an I, but it was a name that wasn't, wasn't normally used. Like you meet, do you know how many Adams in my life I've met? I've met a lot of Adams. I met a lot of like Chris's. I haven't met a lot of Ian's. I, I don't think his name was Ian though. It was something like that. Anyways, though, he was the smartest kid, I guess you could say in our group, but he goes, yo, I think he got bit by a snapping turtle. And I was like, what? No. And we wanted to check on our friend, but we also wanted to now find out if it was a snapping turtle. And our coach was near us because he was the one driving the boat and stuff. So we go by him and we're like, coach, did he get bit by a snapping turtle? And our coach goes, I don't know right now. Let me just go talk to him. He said his name, I think. I don't know. He goes over, walks over, talks to him, right? And and so now there's like our five, six person group standing on the dock, right? And we hadn't walked over to the swimming area because the kids like being helped by his mom and the other kids now had gotten out of the water. So I don't know if they were looking for a snapping turtle or if they saw one, but the other kids weren't still swimming when he got out. So maybe that's a, a do they call that a telltale sign? That's a sign, right? No one else was swimming after that kid got bit, but we're drying off and stuff. And I wanted to go change after that because like I said, I've said this in a previous story. My grandparents have had a pool my whole life. So I've gone swimming. Like once I do my initial, like whatever thing I'm doing, like let's say anybody, like you're going to use wave runners, swimming, hot tub, like tubing, literally any water activity, right? The moment I get done with it, I go change and I'm dry for the rest of the day just because I don't like being wet like for a long time and wearing my bathing suit and stuff. Just not my vibe, right? So I wanted to go change. And when I'm going to change, I just happen to look at the kid, right? I'm not going to like... Like, he wasn't naked. I'm not going to, like, stare at him, right? But he was getting treated by his mom and someone else. So I just looked over, and I saw a good amount of blood on the back of his, like, back slash lower leg, right? Like, near his ass. And I was like, I don't even want to look, right? And I walked, and I had to go into the porter potty. And I'm changing, and trying to change in a porter potty is horrible, right? I could have waited, and there was, like, another, like, it was, like, a rest stop bathroom. Like, it was bigger where you could actually change, but there were so many people over there, I didn't want to go over there, right? But I checked out my teammate when I walked over, he was a little bit bloody, he was like, ooh, right? And when I got out and I was fully changed, other kids were waiting to get changed too, so I had to get out of the way. But then the kid that got bit was, you know, he was done with his treatment, whatever you want to call it. Like he was all good, right? So we all go walk up because there's a whole group of kids by him, like five kids, right? And we walk up and ask what happened. And he's like, I got bit by a snapping turtle. And we're like, no way, dude. And then the one kid, I, the one I said, I didn't know if his name's Ian or not. He's like, see, I told you guys a snapping turtle, right? And so we asked, we're like, what happened or what, like what happens now? Right. And he's like, well, my mom was looking it up and she said, you could get an Anna or not an antibiotic I guess that's the medicine right but you could get like you could have to go get a tetanus shot or you have to go get something like something could have been wrong with him so he had to go to the doctor after they went swimming like once we got done he had to go to the doctor to see if he had some disease or something not a disease but you know what I'm talking about like if he had some sickness or something wrong with him from the snapping turtle right but I remember because we had a team group chat after we got done with the lake he went to the doctor or whatever and he texted us a little bit later that nothing like extra was wrong with him but he sent us because you have to think about it it's the boys right like it's the boys so it's not that private right he showed us the bruise like three days later and he got bit like uh like i want to say I don't know how to really describe it, but side saying like the top of his ass cheek or his butt cheek, like I don't know how else to say it, but it was like, like, yeah, like the bottom of his back right above, right. Oh, well, let me think. Think about where your tailbone is. I'm t like, think about where your tailbone is, the top of it. And then if you slid your finger over a little bit to the left, it was like right around there where it was bloody and bruised. Right. But when he sent us the picture, dude, you could see where that like, like, I don't know if the tooth marks were like this or like, uh, if it was two on top or two on bottom, but I just remember seeing the teeth marks and there was like, uh, like almost greenish yellow bruising around the initial bite mark. And then it was just 
dark black, like purple, like just disgusting colored around his whole area, right? And I asked him, like, we asked him, how did it feel, obviously? And he was like, dude, you have no idea. He's like, I don't know if anyone's been bitten by a dog. And I've, like, played with my dog and she's bitten my hand. He's like, imagine that times 100. He's like, the force that it felt, like, he's like, it felt crazy right now i've never been been bit by a snapping turtle right i've only been bit by yeah like dogs playing and like yeah that's really it i mean cats but i don't think cats bite they like they scratch so yeah i haven't really been bitten anything i don't know but that kid i felt bad for him dude because that scream was crazy loud we we're just standing on the dock dude and we had no idea what was going on and you just hear him ah like, if I hadn't known better, I, I mean, I should have put together it was a snapping turtle before the Ian kid, whatever his name was, said it. Before he said it, I should have put it together. But I initially was like, oh, my God, like, did he get bit by a shark? Like, what the hell is in that water, right? It's a lake. Like, what? Like, what? I Or, or I thought he, like, sat on glass because adults were drinking beers and stuff. I thought maybe there was, like, broken glass he just sat on or something or stepped on. Like, what could have been wrong with him or a nail or... I didn't know what was going on, but once I saw the blood on his leg, I, I like, and after that one kid said it could be a snapping turtle, I saw the blood, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's not good, right? But I wouldn't know. I do not put myself in those scenarios, so I wouldn't know. I mean, that day I did, but, like, now, t no way I'm going anywhere near where a snapping turtle is unless it's for, like, a really cute girl or something. I don't know. I don't know a reason why I would do that, but anyways, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm trying to think what I need to say here. If you want to comment, I always answer my positive comments, but if you're going through something, you need someone to talk to, like I said, you can comment, I'll answer, or you can DM me, right? My Instagram is attached to my YouTube. You go to my YouTube, you'll see like channel info or a more about or whatever. You click on there and you'll see it. You click on my Insta and I'll get back to you within a day. So you're not alone. Thanks for watching and peace out. That's attacked by a... Uh, Snapping turtle. Story time.